still beats me. Let me in. Come on, baby, I'm sorry. Come on, honey.
three years in Chicago. But New Orleans, it's carved me with a blade. That heat. <laughs> oh, yeah. I knew it would pull me back. spiritual light to her every day. Her love will live in all our lives. She leaves her mark on this world in the hearts of all of us. A caring father, Senator Woodrow McCann, and a devoted brother, Bill McCann. An irreplaceable spirit who has left us only the kindness memory. We're not here to say goodbye to her or to judge the circumstances of her passing, but to acknowledge her love for us and our love for her, a godly creature. You look so handsome. You should speak to your brother, Ethan. He's going off to that awful Vietnam, and you never know what might happen there. If he wants to go to Vietnam, let him go play the hero. Those two look so in love. In the name of the Lord, we say goodbye to you, Shelby, and hope that we may see you again when we all pass into the house of our Father. Amen. 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 A terrible day for Senator Woodrow McCammon as he and his family mourn the loss of his daughter, Shelby McCammon, who's reported to have committed suicide. In a bizarre twist of fate, she died on the anniversary of her own mother's suicide three years ago. All of this comes on the heels of a mudslinging and expensive campaign that has supposedly left our wealthy senator near bankruptcy. His defeated Republican arms hawk Joe Ferris has left Ferris claiming voter fraud and demanding a recount. This is Elaine Fontana reporting for Action News, New Orleans. Bo? Bo, listen, I, I know we haven't seen each other in a long time, you know, and uh, why don't you come up to the house and we can... Bo, please be a little tolerant. Come on, it's a kind of crazy day here. Please just come up to the house and we'll talk, that's all. Okay. Keep that freak away from me. Yes, sir. Well, now, what is this? I'm just trying to pay my condolences to my uncle. And the senator appreciates your kindness. Get the fuck away from me. Back off now. I'll cut you down. <laughs> you sure you will, right here. You can drown looking at the rain. It's good. Oh, I've missed seeing you. When all the rain is coming down all around you. You can stand rooted like a tree, or you can just float away into the gulf like a beetle 
on a cypress twig. What do you... I'm going to leave you alone for now. I loved your mother and your sister. Shelby was a fragile spirit like your mother. It breaks my heart. Thank you, Miss Greta. Hello? Colin? I'm real sorry about Shelby. Sure. Well, I'm surprised to see you here. We haven't talked in a while. Well, let's not start now. Well, now we should talk. Be around. Well, let's go make friends. <laughs> Bo McCammon, what can I do for you? I'm FBI Agent Armstrong. This is my partner, Agent Cray. What's this about? Well, we're really sorry about what happened to your sister. Nice. You're just in from Chicago, huh? Looks like you already know everything you need to know. We're conducting an investigation at, uh, involving your father, the senator. Uh, my father's been under investigation as long as I can remember. Goes with a job, I'd say. We're aware of the previous investigations, but there are numerous new areas we're looking well, I'm at. I'm glad you all are busy, but uh, I can't be of help to you. Thank you. Your sister's death might not have been a suicide. We tried to contact you in Chicago. We just recently received phone records showing that she called you on the night she died. What'd you talk about? She called us. she was dying. Did you contact anyone? I was the one who called the police. What kind of agents are you? Okay, okay. What did she say? She said my name. Just my name. Attention, was she murdered? Six, local sheriff's department has information. That's enough for now. Please contact. When we know more, we'll see what we can do for you. Well, I asked you a question. Was she murdered? That's all we can do for you right now, sir. Sorry. He's uh, a little bit overcooked. Smells so damn bad the gators wouldn't even touch him. We got an ID on him. Alfred Waxman last worked in the county office of records. Uh, two priors for forgery in Arkansas. By God, right now, ain't nothing but a pile of hamburger with bullet holes in it. You got an estimated time on that? Oh, I'd say about 48 hours. Same night as a McCammon suicide? You guys trying to take over this case too, ain't you? It's like you've just mysteriously appeared out of nowhere and taken over all our local investigations. You got a problem, officer? I've been on this job for five years. And ever since you son of a bitch you showed up, I got to get permission to take a shit around here. Oh, listen, I didn't mean to offend you. I realize that you're FBI guys, and uh, this investigation requires your kind of uh, fine-tuned expertise. Detective, I shove it up your ass. I don't know what you boys are up to. This the whole thing stinks worse than the methane gas on that swamp out there. It stinks, and it's a fact that everybody knows. We found Waxman. I assume that means dead? Yes, sir. I would greatly appreciate it if you two would conclude this investigation quickly. This continues much longer. We'll have to have another election. Under state law, he's indicted now. My votes still count. A new election would be very, very costly. We understand your concerns. Well, then, get on with it. I guess not. I will say one thing to end this, though. I'm sorry about Shelby.
You're not gonna do this to me. Hi. Why do this? I don't know. Shitty day. I'll tell you that right now. I missed you. Fuck you. I thought we could talk. What is there to talk about? Congratulations on becoming mm -hmm. a DA. No, no, you you just go back to Illinois or wherever. I have I have a life. I came to say that uh, they think that Shelby may have been murdered. Who's they? FBI agents. They. Pick me up after the funeral. What agents? FBI. It's the same as usual. The FBI's on the Republican payroll. They're trying to overturn your father's re-election. He, uh, asked to see me. Well, then. Talk to her. As she was dying. Can you take me to the centers, please? Sure. a lot of confusion around you. I'm sorry, baby. I appreciate it. It's my favorite 
picture of your mama, you won't find that kind of joy or spirit anymore. I'll tell you that. I miss her. I miss her too. I was having a drink in the back. Come on, you can join me if you want. Yeah, come on in here. I was having myself a, a drink, you know. Would you like one? No, sir. No, okay. Well, don't you stand there, sit down. I got myself a wheelchair, you know, when I'm inside the house in private, the public can't see me. I use it to rest in from time to time. You okay? I'm fine. <laughs> One day at a time. Sounds like a song, doesn't it? Very embarrassed. I missed a lot of life. See, I made a big mistake. I thought I could substitute success, you know, like political success for living. And on the way, I lost your mama and Shelby, so. It just don't work. I miss her so. Do you really miss her? How the hell can you say something like that? I'm fighting not to go to pieces, and you say, do I really mean it? What kind of a thing are you? I don't want to talk about the past anymore. No more. I want to go forward. Well, sometimes the past dictates the future. But what the hell are you now? You some kind of a 10 cent philosopher? I don't need that. Did it ever dawn on you that I could be frightened? That I don't like to be alone? And I'll tell you something else. I ain't gonna be around till we win the Civil War. I figure that's the way it works. You haven't got the compassion to fill a thimble. You haven't learned one social grace, have you? No, sir, I haven't. Well, you should. You should remember you come from the most prestigious family in Louisiana. Wait a minute. You listen to me. Don't you dare. Don't you walk out on me, you son of a bitch. You listen to me. You're from one of the most prestigious families in Louisiana. You understand? And you haven't learned to kiss ass not even a little bit. But you won't. And do you know why? Because you're stubborn. You are stubborn and you are weak. Now, let me tell you, boy, that's one hell of a combination. I guess so. All right. Sit down here a minute. Sit down. I want to tell you something. Come on. Look. This is a time of pain, and I thought maybe you and I could work through the pain towards something. Like Shelby's trust. God, if I were younger, I'd smash your face. Man, I hope you get the money. I really hope you get the money. And let me tell you something else. Your mother was very happy to oblige when she found out her son was nothing but ungrateful. I managed. So now where does the money go? I can't believe you're my blood or my family. I can't believe that's all you care about. Is that all you care about? The money? The money? No, no, I just asked you a question. Yeah, well, it didn't go to me. If that's what you're worried about, it went to a charity. I'm sure that's real painful. I'm trying to get something through your thick head here. Listen. Shelby was going in and out of rehabs. And your mama 
Well, she passed on, and, and you deserted us, and then there was our nephew, Colin. He was in out of jail like a ping-pong ball. What I'm trying to get through to you is that my life was hell. And Shelby, well, I failed her, you know. I did my best to support her emotionally through her addictions, but uh, I failed her. To be honest with you, I have a hard time even being in this place. The hell did you come over here for? To beat me up because you feel sorry for yourself? You don't like the way you turned out? I did the best I could, my friend. I did all that a parent could do. My best, and that was it. I wanted you to follow in my footsteps. I don't know, maybe in the law or public office. I wanted you to be my noble successor. Of course. You know what I mean, of course? You couldn't do it. You could never take sides at anything as long as you live unless it was against me. The FBI picked me up. They suggested that Shelby's death wasn't a suicide. They're trying to make a family tragedy into a political ploy. They're lying. What the hell kind of brain do you got? Of course they're lying. They're out to get me. They want to get me out of politics. They're going to dishonor Shelby. They're going to do anything again to get me out. But I'll tell you a little secret. The people of Louisiana will not desert me in my grief. <laughs> now Shelby's death becomes a political advantage. Okay, I, can't, I can't believe you said that. Look, I have something more than important to say to you. I, maybe I, I should have said it long ago, but I don't know why with you. Your mama gone and she'll be a you're my only son. You're all that's left, you all I have. I love you. All your life you had one agenda. Yours. Now let me tell you something, I learned something. You have a bypass operation and it takes your agendas and throws them out. It shakes your priorities into their proper order. Billy Goon off of me and stop the car. He's all right. I am sorry about this, but everything I do is being watched these days, and I didn't want to have to explain why we're talking, you know, to agents. So you kidding at me? How's Uncle Woody? What do you want, Colin? I'm up to my ass in agents. I'm covering his ass, and I want to know what he's saying about me. Yeah, so you're covering for him. They are trying to indict me on everything from extortion to jaywalking. What'd he tell you? He didn't tell me anything. I could take him down. He better start kissing my sweet ass. How are you going to take him down? So I hear you and Brittany are at it again. Oh, please. Boy, this town has eyes everywhere. Where are you taking me, Colin? There's something I want you to see. A little family history. Grab I'm sorry, boss. Don't look at me, giddy. Silver spoon, you always had everything. The money, the respect, everything. Don't worry. If I was gonna kill you, I would have done it a long time ago. I'm just taking you on a little sideshow. A sideshow of my life. Come on, boys.
figured it out. Everybody in this town is buried above ground. The ghosts haunt us every day. Who's buried here? My mom. Eleanor? I thought she moved to the Northwest. Who told you that? Senator? My life could have been so different. Everything changed after she died. I'm not saying I was an angel. But throwing me in lockup changed my path, changed my sexuality, changed everything. I'm not sure what this is about, Colin. You're digging up shit. Stop. Or you wind up in one of these. Going back to Chicago. Let us deal with our ghosts. Who killed Shelby? She's got you haunted now. Shelby was screwed up from day one. She did more of every kind of drug than I've ever seen. What makes you think she was killed? She was recovering. Recovering, huh? I know her supplier. You. She had a long line of credit. Why didn't you help her? Foul ball. Very foul. The FBI said that she was murdered. I'm trying to stay out of the joint on trumped up shit. Every day that you are here, they are figuring out some angle to use you to get to the senator. You want me to leave? I'm just making a recommendation. Shelby was one screwed up chick in a long line of psychos in this family. Case of both, we come from some bad genetics. Shelby didn't kill herself. This is a death certificate. Jane Doe, 5'7", approx 54, at time of death. I got that from a friend of mine at the recorder's office. He's dead now. I don't understand. That is my mother, you idiot. She's right here. Uncle Woody killed my mother. What are you talking about? It's true. Think about it. He was always out hunting trim. I doubt he was faithful to your mother for even one day. You were there. So this is the dirt you got on him. Murder? That's something I figured. Gets better, brother. This is bullshit. I just love to do DNA, see what it says. Don't hang around here, man. I can't guarantee you'll be safe. Is that a threat? There's elements out there. I wouldn't hesitate to get under. I'm just making you aware, bro. They can't indict you. They'll erase you. They took out my recorder friend, Waxman, and Shelby, she wanted out, she got what she wanted. out of four felony investigations from drugs to homicide. He accused my father of killing Eleanor McCammon. I don't understand. I, I can't, I can't help but feel that Shelby was murdered. Her voice on the phone, if you would have heard it, it, it wasn't resigned to death, but fighting it. You have to help me. I don't know, Bob. Please, oh. help me find a killer. I don't know. I called about the investigation. The FBI got there almost immediately after the police. Well, then anything could have happened after that. It's possible. Just introduce me to the detectives. Hey, Brittany. Detective O'Reilly, this is Bo McCammon. Hi, how you doing? Uh, hello. I understand you're looking for some information. Come on over. Take a seat. What can I do for you? Uh, Detective, 
Can you tell me anything about my sister's death? You should take this up with the FBI. Do you want me to do this officially through the DA's office? What does that mean? He needs some closure, just some peace of mind. Terrible tragedy. She's a beautiful girl. It, uh, is this all it is? We were there for all of two minutes and they kicked us off the case. Th there's no gun here. There was a gun there, I saw it. Well, how does someone shoot themselves and lose the gun? Son, I just told you. I saw the gun. Well, there's no notes in here for the gun. You didn't enter them. You know, I'm not on trial here. Now, I told you, I was only there for two minutes. And in those two minutes, you saw it. And we were ordered off the case, Brittany. Detective, do you think it was a murder like the FBI does? Look, what I think is done important because it's their investigation, and if they think she was murdered, then I guess they've got their reasons for it. Detective, did you ever know my aunt, Eleanor McCammon? What, what the hell's that got to do with this? Do you know what happened to her? Well, hell, I don't know. She had Colin, who was always in court all the time. She moved. You know, I don't blame her. You know, you guys are dealing here with a uh, real, real tense situation here with a lot of different people with a lot of different agendas, including your own. What might those be? I have no idea. I could give a damn less, okay? I'm sorry. That's all I got. Yeah. Distance. I see an island, and I, I move toward the island, and I toward the island, and all of a sudden, a sudden, a sudden, I feel this wind. Instead of, instead of pushing me away, it's pulling me toward it. As it pulls me, it's getting colder and colder. And then all of a sudden, I realize I don't have things anymore. They're, they're gone, and I'm falling, and I'm going, no! that leave us? I don't know, Bo. It's hard for me to be around you. Brittany, at that time, I, I, I was working through a lot of things. Uh, I mean, it seemed like everything came down on me at once, you know? My, my mom's death, our marriage. I thought I was gonna spend the rest of my life with you. I loved you. You didn't even have the balls to tell me that you were leaving. I'm sorry. Hey, Brittany, I need to postpone. Brittany, I need more time. I trusted you, man.
I was wrong. I will never let you hurt me again. And I will help you. But it's for Shelby. And that's it. You killed Waxman. You killed my friend. Where's the gun? What gun? You guys are too tense. <laughs> Look, I played your game. I changed my mind. I lose either way. I'm not going down for you guys. I'll break every rib in your chest. Kill me. Come on. You ain't getting shit. What do you want? I want a federal judge to clear me of any of this. Amnesty. Immunity. A judge. I will give you all the evidence on the senator. Frame him, whatever it is you got to do. What happened to Waxman? You know how many people were after Alfred? He owed more money around town than I can say. Everybody wanted a piece of it. A weasel like me scares you. You got to give me time to plant the rest of it. You got to have evidence coming out of your ass to take down the senator. Waxman was going to fall as a hitman on the senator's payroll. Now, how are we going to do that? I did not kill Waxman. You give me the judge's immunity, right? I am totally free and clear. You've got until 5 o'clock tomorrow to get us all of it. The senator's gun with prints, clothes with bloodstains, minimum. All right. Goodness, it's been a long time. It has been a long time. I'm sorry about your loss. Oh, well, you know what they say, that's life. Come on in. Thank you. You can't stay long. Can't buy a coffee for a My house boy to get you anything? Oh, I'm fine. Oh, I'll get it myself. So what are you up to? I work very hard at the DA's office. Do you hear that, Bo? She's a lawyer! I've been trying to get him into law. I remember. Well, I give up. I have no hope. I don't have much to hope for anyway. I ran into Colin. Actually, uh, I was taking on a little joyride. What are you talking about? It was unpleasant at best. What well, he insane, you know. He made a lot of threats. What kind of threats? He's been talking to the FBI. Let him talk, you know. I ain't got nothing to hide. What happened to his mother? What? Eleanor. Your uncle Ethan was killed in uh, Vietnam. As far as I know, she went to, uh, she moved to the Northwest. Well, Colin tells me that uh, his mother's buried over in a tomb at Lafont. And that he feels that you're responsible for his mother's death. He breaks my heart. And he's your bastard son. Well, that's him. My bastard son. Yes. What are we doing? It's all right, just yes. a little pain. It's just a little pain. Let me go, let me have some air. Colin's here. Oh, yeah, well, tell him I want to see him. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't care what you think. I want to see him. He's okay. You're not welcome here. And aren't we big happy ones? Why are you here? Well, hello to you too, Brittany. I feel so welcome and fuzzy all over. What do you tell Bo? I guess I'm the only one around here who's aware of impending danger. So I think they're going to lay down a mountain of indictments. Against whom? The good senator. They're going all out, top to bottom. What's the charge? On that, my dear uncle? Yeah, type that. The whole room. Not this time, boss. Can I use the job? Please.
best if I lay down on the couch for a while. to issue indictments? He lied. Say, uh, didn't I have a few extra G's laying around? Is that why you came for money? I'm kind of spent right now. Did I say something wrong? Y'all been so good to me. No, I've been good to you. I could have sunk you. What do you mean you could have sunk me? You know, you. Lots of family secrets, evil ones. You talking about Eleanor? I'm sure the FBI is all ears. You've been speaking to me. Did I say that? I got something to say, my friend. Better watch yourself. Watch myself on your behalf? Are you trying to link me to your mom? My mother? Except for the fact she killed her. I did not kill your mama. I found out where she was buried. I don't give a shit what you found out or where you found out. I did not kill your mama. Ever call me dad? The last thing I would like to be is your. I'm gonna get it all mixed up. You got the money? I don't have nothing for you. I have nothing to Really? Well, I think that everyone in this room has something to hide. Get out. Now. No problem at all. I'm just gagging on the truth around here. Follow the money. You're doing that, right? The trust? Yes, sir. We're investigating. The election default clause date is closing, Richard. To be honest with you, sir, that will not be a date that we'll be pursuing in terms of closing this case. I'll note that. Are you sure you're up to this? Yes. I'm sorry about O'Reilly. He would tell us everything he knows. All the political rallies we went to with my father. Ornaments. But when the cameras were done, we were ushered back to where it was ever taking care of us at the time. I was maybe six. Shelby was just a little baby. I'm done. I'm finished here. You're done? I'm looking for something that isn't there. Well, that's typical. What do you want from me? Nothing. Police say it was a suicide. My father says it was a suicide. There's nothing here to show otherwise. What the hell with you? All right. All right. I'll stay. I'll figure this out. For you. I don't want anything. You do this for your sister, and for once in your life, you finish something. Shelby had a trust, didn't she? My father says uh, it all went to charity. How much? 18 million. Where the fuck are we 
going? Turn right, right up here. Is uh, Mr. Hemingway here? Mr. Hemingway? Yes, sir. How are you, sir? And how are you, my friend? Very well, thank you. I just uh, came by to see if everything was going all right. Very well, sir. Uh, Mr. Hemingway, I have just one question for you. Yes, sir? I got a lot of money riding on this, and I'm not sure where you're coming from. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Well, uh, I love my kids. If I don't leave a little slip between the cup and the lip, they don't get what they need. We haven't been around here for 90 years out of the goodness of people's hearts. We work at it. Fundraising is a full-time job. Has anybody been by here? Related to your transaction? Uh, not that I know of. Mr. Hemingway here. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. May I take you both on a tour? That won't be necessary. I'm Agent Armstrong. Agent Cray. Well, welcome, gentlemen. Uh, what can I do for you? Have you ever heard of a Shelby McCammon? She came in here quite often. <laughs> Terrible tragedy. Uh, children loved her very much. Have you been made aware of her donation? Oh, yes, sir. Her estate attorney contacted us. We're, we're very excited. We're either going to add a new wing or start a whole new institution in Baton Rouge. Have you had any contact with her father, uh, Senator McKenna? A very great man. I, I've only seen him on TV. Well, thank you for your time, sir. Any time. God bless. We've been doing this a long time. That's good to know. I might ask, however, sir, that if there are any more interruptions like that one, your 10% washing fee will double. We are secretively respected as the Swiss Bank of Louisiana. Bringing the feds in here could give us um, a profile, disrupt the local economy. Understood. Good. We are cool. We are cool. Don't worry, Mr. Hemingway. You will be very well taken care of. We're cool. I'm gonna figure this out. You just stick with me. See what he has to say. Hello. Sitting here. Hello, who is that? <laughs> Why, who oh, is that Bo McCayman? Oh, yeah. Hey, come on in. I'm sorry about Greta not being here to greet you. She had been feeling too well lately. What, do I know you? Yes. You're the DA's latest assistant. I may be old, but don't mess with me, because I'll whoop your ass. <laughs> yes, sir, uh, Harold, we, we just came here to ask you a few questions. Is that what can I do for you, boy? You're the trustee on my sister's trust. Well, of course, poor Shelby. Who are the beneficiaries of? Let me see what I have. Uh, ah! You know, I had it here somewhere. Eureka! Birth certificate. Yes, indeed. And here's the will. I just remembered. Your sister bequeathed her entire inheritance to charity. The Handicapped Children's Association of Louisiana. Can I see it? I know how disappointing it must be, but uh, in the event of no will, it would go back to the parents, never across to the brother, unless specifically stated in the will. I, I never cared about the money, sir. He always was a bit unconventional. Is this legitimate? Oh, I would say so. It's probably one of the most respected and the oldest charities in New Orleans. OK, then. Thank you, Harold. And I'm sure I'll be seeing you in court. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. And don't forget, Missy, I'll leave you like a beetle floating on a cypress twig on its way out to the Gulf. <laughs> I've been forewarned. <laughs> Hi, 
Have you heard of this place? The Louisiana Children's Fund? Why the FBI calling it murder? That could mean anything. You heard the way O'Reilly talked about them. They're looking for information. They're trying to get to your father. Maybe they thought it would ruffle your feathers. He's in the way. That's my opinion. What about Colin? Colin's about the money. If there's no money, there's no what motive. benefit? 18 million's a lot of money. Brittany, tell me if I'm saying the wrong thing, but I feel like the time we were apart never was. It was three years. Maybe if I were to ask you to come to Chicago, you would have come. Would you have? I don't remember being asked. Will you come to Chicago with me? No. said she was sick. They said the same thing, the beetle on the twig. It's a poem. So you can stay rooted like the tree or float on into the gulf like the beetle on the cypress twig. I know her my whole life. She was at the funeral. She always prided herself on having never called in sick. People get old, Bo. I have to see her. Do I need one? The U.S. to see us, sir. Do you mind? Yeah, I'm not worried about that. No, I am a public servant. I have nothing to hide. I asked to see you because uh, you've been talking to my family. We may have. What do you mean, may have? I'm not a fool. Let me tell you about my nephew, Colin. He's not a very reliable source of information. Because he's a convicted felon, number one. We're very aware of that, sir. Look, let's get things straight here, all right? I don't like the way you're fooling around, and I think your methods are gradually becoming dangerously close to being illegal. All our investigations are handled to the letter of the law. And there's a big difference between the letter of the law and the spirit of the law. They're about as wide apart as the Grand Canyon. The people of this community do not need or have ever felt the need of the jurisdiction of the federal government. Because I can bring down a whole lot of hurt on you to the burning light of the media. We're well within our authority. You know, if you guys think you're fooling me, you're not. I'm aware that you work for my political opponent. Are you aware of the fact that I have been friends of the head of the FBI for years and we call each other by first names? So I would advise you, if you want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, my friend, you better think twice. We welcome you speaking to whomever you like, sir, and we intend to follow our leads. I know what you're trying to do. I know you're on the payroll of my enemies, and I know you're trying to destroy my political career. I won't even validate that statement with the response. Here. The tape? You know what I'm going to do with this tape? I'm going to deliver it personally to my friend, the head of the FBI. Senator? Miss Greta. Never been so scared in my life. I knew you'd come. I'm sorry, dear. I don't want to well, talk to you. She's okay. Oh, no, she's not. I'm telling you, son. You don't know who's what or where's when. 
Excuse us. It's all right. You're in danger. I'm in danger for talking to you. I've had nobody I could talk to. It is terrible. It's about the trust, right? It's all about the money. I loved your mother. Had no idea she was going to do that horrible Please tell me about her. I knew Alfred Waxman. He said, you know, work part-time in the county recorder's office. I tried to get out the documents, but Harold moved them. Uh, they're all fake. Everything's phony. My father. No, I don't know that. All I know is that Harold's involved with someone I've never known. My heard. cousin, Colin. I don't know that either. All I know is that it's all fake. It was a charity. That's right. But the documents say the wrong charity. I was there the night Shelby filled in the paperwork. It was National Cancer Research, not the one it is now. Why are you so worried about Brittany? Everybody gets crazy about losing money. Should we get the authorities? What are the authorities? The police? The FBI? Oh, filthy. You don't trust a soul around here. Do you have any paperwork or anything that'll show that there's something? my accuracy? Your insolent son. My life is in danger, as is yours. Miss Greta! Miss Greta! Miss Greta! 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 This is the DA's office. We have a trauma situation. You know we were there. We've been trying to keep an eye on you. I miss Greta too. We're really sorry about the old woman. So what did she tell you? Did you know her? Wasn't she Shelby's trust attorney's secretary? I knew her my whole life. So what was the meeting about? I don't really know exactly. The woman was run down though. If you have any information to help us track this down, it would be the right thing to do. Where are we headed? To our offices. You're definitely in danger. I think we should both go and talk to the police. How, how long does it take to get funds released under Louisiana law? What? How long does it take to get funds released under Louisiana law? One week. Tomorrow's a week. I can I can file to contest the will. You can get it done today? Yeah, now? Yes. Then you need to do that then. Okay. All right, go now and handle that, and I'll no, see you later. No. 
It's okay. Charles. And I'll see you later. Charles Street Call. next. Out on Charles Street. Clear the doorway, please. Great job on the boat. Not only that, you charged me next to nothing. You know what's going to happen? They're going to think we're communist spies. I see you. Well, look at that. <laughs> the bad penny return. Surprised to see me? Well, now, <laughs> I can't say I'm delighted, you know. I mean, I had the FBI. They've been calling me all day. So? I mean, so, what's it about? This isn't a political situation for you to manipulate. Let me tell you something. Maybe you should be glad if it was a political situation. Smart ass. Now, what do they want? They think I know about everything. What does that mean? <laughs> well, if you don't know, I guess nobody does. What do you do? I don't understand. You speaking in code now? Come on. It's amazing what you've gotten away with. What are you talking about? How long you been involved with all this? From day one? Look, we had a terrible loss. Isn't that enough? Miss Greta was killed today. She gave me some very interesting information. Really, so charity? The charity is phony. Shelby is charity? Yeah, you have no idea. Of course not. Did you kill Shelby? Or did you have her killed? What the hell is wrong with you? What are you, you, you drunk? Are you stoned or something? All my life. I've been watching you cut through all your problems. I don't think I've ever seen you make a mistake. But every time I said something, it was called one. You think I'm so lucky? I lost a beloved daughter, and evidently, a son. You believe all your own bullshit. You tell people lies, and you make them believe it. No, Bo, let me go. Wait! I want to know what happened to Eleanor. I want to know what happened to Shelby. And I want to, I want to know what happened to my mother. Now, you tell me. I know it's almost impossible, but you've got to believe me. I swear. I, I don't know what you heard or where you heard it, but I don't know anything about what you're talking. Such a fool. I'd love to address your concerns, Senator, but now is not the time. You two are working together. Don't be insane. Who was the trigger man with Shelby? Alfred Waxman? You thought you had all your tracks covered, didn't you? Well, you're wrong this time, Dad. The trust is all locked up. It's a little too late. Take it easy with the gun, all right? Just take them downstairs. That's all. I was always right about you.
one so the whole town can see it. Get it out. Bring All it right. in here. No, I don't. See them be very happy together. Ow. Is everything okay? Yeah, got everything's fine. Did you get to the FBI? I don't think so. Is that the detonators? Right here. Want me to start rigging now? Something to do. What are you staring at? Give me a hand. Uh, How about the uh, gas tanks? Are they full? Yeah, they're topped off all five. This thing's got to look like an accident and a bump to work. We make it, they didn't, suddenly there's an explosion. Oh, they're gone. Blown into a million unidentifiable pieces. Is that clear? Yeah. You sure? I said it'll work. I don't get your dander, huh? Okay. Come on. Okay, hand me the wire. All right. Hey, hey, don't touch those leads. The boys all to hell. Stuff is very delicate. Oh, what's happening? It's all armed, ready to go. Just do what you have to do. Now, oh, you son of a. You, you tried to set me up with the FBI. What are you talking? Talking about who put the clothes in my bathroom? They won't come off. Where is it? It's gone. Settle, so I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Colin. I'm on my way to 10 million. Harold gets his 33% lawyers, 10% for poor Harold. You are too cheap. Now let's cut to the meeting. What happened to my mother? I don't know. What happened to my mother? <laughs> I said I don't know. You're gonna shoot. Shoot. Colin! found out you were mine. She confronted Eleanor, called her a whore. And your mama had a nervous breakdown on that. She killed us. You're lying. It's not a lie. That's the truth. You should have asked O'Reilly. He covered it up. Let it go now, Colin. We can work it out. Fuck you for saying that.
Let's go. Come on.
way. Chicago. New Orleans. Let's go home. A horrible boating accident has left Senator Woodrow McCammon dead, along with parish detective Tom O'Reilly. Authorities report that the two victims were boating on Lake Pontchartrain when a sudden explosion was witnessed by many residents of the North Shore Lake. Concerns were raised when the senator's son, Bo McCammon, reported that they had not returned from their boating trip at the expected time. Mm -hmm.